Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We are located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the used trucks that we have on the lot. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our procedure when we take a used truck in. We have nothing but certified Freightliner mechanics in our service department. So one of them gets assigned to that. And then we do an extensive thorough check throughout the entire truck to see what needs replaced. Our end goal is to make it as new as possible. And a lot of times that can be rather expensive. In fact, we average about $10,000 in the shop before they ever hit the lot because that's just, does makes good business sense because the last thing anyone needs is you broke down along the side of the road. So I've had several calls come in the last two or three months of people for, that are looking for a truck that is pre-death. Well, we happen to have one. This is a 2009 Freightliner M2 106. The conversion is sports chassis. This truck has right at 154,000 miles. So a truck for that age, that's still really relatively low. And when you consider the fact that we're talking about an engine that can do 750,000 miles, just 150,000 is really nothing to balk at. So as we study the truck and we look at it from the side view, one thing that really kind of jumps out is how bright white this truck is. You know, we're talking about a truck that's fairly old, but still sure doesn't look like it when you look at it from the side. We see a whole row of orange lights running across the bottom. And right above that, there is another set. So that really lights the truck up at night. As we see, it comes with two storage compartments, a smaller one in the back, and a larger one up front. You can see they are lined and it comes with an air hose and an air hose hookup if one is needed. As we go forward, it comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks, one on each side. So as the truck is sitting in rest like it is now, that fuel is gonna balance itself out. However, when you go to fuel up your truck, you're gonna to wanna to do that independently. Here is the block heater to plug that truck in at night. As we come around and take a look directly in front, again, you can see just how good a shape this truck is in. Tow hooks located right in the center. If you'll notice, the bumper is actually broken into three sections. The reason is if you are in an accident and ding one side up, you can simply replace that part of the bumper without having to do the entire thing. As we take a look at the hood, that is made of compressed fiberglass. Therefore, it is extremely tough. We had a hailstorm come through that demolished the pickups, but when you took a look at the freight liners, especially the hoods, you really couldn't tell anything had happened. On up to the windshield, 2,500 square inches of glass. That coupled with the fact that we are already above traffic makes visibility simply outstanding. And finally, as we take a look at the top, we see a row of orange lights as well. As we take a look underneath the hood, that is the Cummins 8.3 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 330 horsepower and roughly 850 foot-pounds of torque. So with that type of an engine in it, you're not gonna beat anybody off the starting line. That's not what these trucks are designed to do. 
These trucks are designed to get up to cruise control, set it, and go coast to coast, border to border. So if we're looking for something that's gonna last a long time and be very safe in the process and still pre-death, that is why you need to take a strong look at this particular truck. Now, if we do leave lights on and something happens, we can actually jumpstart the vehicle right there. The batteries are located underneath the back seat. As we come on in and look at the tires, these are brand new tires. Those are Toyos 265 75 R22.5. This truck is stock number 5U240145. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, both driver and passenger seat are air ride. Those adjustments can be made right here. In addition to that, they are heated. This is for the lumbar system that lets air in and out of the back of the seat. We notice underneath the steering wheel is a little pedal. That is to adjust the steering wheel when sitting in the driver's seat. This truck comes with the hydraulic brakes so this button here releases that brake. Now when you go to start your truck, turn that key about halfway. Let those gauges go all the way over and back. Basically, it's resetting itself. And then go ahead and start the truck. As we take a look in the back seat, The back seat makes down into a bed simply by pushing a button and then taken back up into the normal sitting position. Now as we focus on the bed of the truck, we see this one comes with rails running along on top. As we take a look from behind. We'll start at the front and work our way back. The backup camera located right there, directly in the center. As we come on down, we notice that the bed is already lined for years of protection. This truck comes with a Hensley hitch, and I'd like to get a really good look at that because I talk about them in every video. That's the highest quality hitch on the market. As you can see, it comes with airbags. Here, here, in addition to that, there's one up front. Now, obviously this, this comes with a fifth wheel plate on it ready to go. That can be swapped out with a gooseneck ball if one is needed. So if you purchase a tr this truck and need it to pull a horse trailer, just let me know and we can sure get that swapped out for you. But what are the advantages to this hitch over not having one? Well, what this air does is as you're going down the road, your trailer is basically riding on air. We don't have metal clinging against metal. Consequently, that makes life easier on the trailer. This is known as the trailer saver hitch. And in addition to that, it helps with the wear and tear on the truck as well. As we come on back, here is where we hook up the lights. This is for the Voyager system. Now that's the same system that the backup camera uses. So if you are in need of, an addi of additional cameras, you can simply plug them in right there. And as we come on down, we find a hitch for a bumper pull trailer. As we come on around and admire the truck from this side, the big thing to notice is just the high quality that the truck is in terms of there aren't scratches, there aren't dents, anything like that. So if, like I stated earlier, if we're looking for a truck that's pre-deaf, 
this is one of the higher quality ones that you're going to find in the country and that's why you should consider purchasing this specific truck. One thing I did want to mention is since this truck is a little bit older, we're not going to be able to come up with financing for you. I'm more than willing to send you a buyer's order to take to your lending institution or cash it obviously works. But in terms of us finding financing for you on this specific truck, we're not going to be able to do that. As we take a look inside the passenger seat, again, as we take a look at the seat, there's no scratches, there aren't torn up, anything like that. The previous owner took really good care of it. Under here gives us access to the cab air filters. As we take a look from the ground, a couple of things really jump out at us from this view. One, we can get a good shot of the DVD player. In addition to that, we can really see just how much room and space is available on this truck. So if we're on those long 12, 13, 14 hour trips, it's really gonna make things a lot more comfortable and enjoyable with this amount of room. Now let's crawl on in and take a closer look. As we take a look directly in front, simply to confirm what I was talking about on the outside. Notice how we are above traffic. Therefore, with that, plus the high amount of glass that is involved, we can see things not only in front of us, but coming from the sides as well. As we take a look at the dash, automatic transmission. Right now we're in neutral and the brake is set, but when we're ready to start our travels, simply release the brake, D for drive, R for reverse, and we're on our way. The trailer brake is located right here. As we come on across, this is for the windows. This is for the air that's in the hitch you and I visited about. So we can make adjustments and we can see how much air pressure is involved. This is the dump valve that lets all the air out of the bed of the truck. You would use that when hooking up your trailer, let all the air out, utilize the backup camera, which is here, to make us hooking up your trailer that much easier. Engine brake located here. That isn't just a little an exhaust brake, like that's what is in pickups. That is a true engine brake. So if you are towing a load and you're coming down a decline, you're gonna to wanna to set that to high. So in this particular case, we actually have 330 horses coming back at us. As we take a look, climate control located right here. This is one of the consoles cup holders located here and as we open up this we see there's extra parts in here but more than enough storage capacity in this console so as we review okay if you're in the market for a used Freightliner why you should consider buying this one well number one is it's pre-def it's a 2009 it has 150,000 miles on it but as we talked about this engine is able to go 750,000 so we're really not gonna let that bother us. And if we compare it to pickups in terms of resale value, the resale value on this, if you get down the road and decide to trade it in, would be substantially higher than a pickup. So for more information, simply give me a call at 303-684-3404. You can email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Or for more information, simply click on the link below. Thanks for tuning in today.